Hey man, what it do? We back, man. Another CEO vlog, man. We here at the finals, man. NBA finals, Dallas, Texas, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'll uh, take y'all behind the scenes, man. Man, I just gotta pull it off today. Downstream. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's okay, Peter. You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking a lot lately, man. You know, I was talking to Blow about this too, man. You know, it's kind of like, kind of like we got a second wing. You know what I'm saying? You know how you playing in the game and you get tired a little bit, sit down for a little bit, but then get that second win because it's crunch time. It's ready for that, ready for that big play. Time to get back in the game. Feel like I got that, I got that second win. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, now I've been chilling for a while, but I caught a second win. Looking at life different since I wrecked in the bins. When I realized I ain't really got no friends, only family and foes. People I do business with to get to my goals. I'm no longer exposed to the fraud in the streets begging me for a meal when I'm still trying to eat. I swear these boys weak, but I'm ten toes down, standing tall on two feet. I'm a G, G. gorilla in the streets, great white with the sharks, gunshots in the dark. You can't tear me apart. I brought, I brought the slow flow back, brought the hustle back to rack, put the click on my back. Now let's deal with the facts. A tip for a Set, artillery a bat Step up in my square It's all fair We can scratch I come from the shoulders I might be older I grew up Where them niggas Shop rocks off boulders And stay paid Shag with a fresh finger wave A milli off a beeper And some dope man sneakers Uzis and caprices Screens in the ceiling Playing features Fit fifty dollars Turn you to a millionaire I'm cut from that cloth The last known heir in the triple D, everything is fair. Triple cross from a chick, always one in the mix, always murder in the midst. I earn my diploma, hottest of the hot, sweating bullets in the sauna. You cross the wrong path, hiking. Built my tolerance for riding mountain biking. Built my negotiation skill against Titans. Comes to this downstream shit, I'm Poseidon. You small dogs barking, not biting, so quit hiding. Join us in the field since 99. I've been repping real to real. I've been chilling for a while, but I caught a second wind. Looking at life different since I wrecked in the bins. When I realized I ain't really got no friends, only family and foes. People I do business with to get to my goals. I'm no longer exposed to the fraud in the streets, begging me.
Folks, do me a favor, take one step back, please. One step back, please. Hasta que un equipo gane cuatro partidos, ¿cuál es tu mensaje para la afición y cómo lo ves para lo que sigue? Gracias. Hay que ser positivos, ya está. Muy positivos. Al final es primero cuatro y hay que ser positivos. Jake here in the fifth row. Jake Fisher with Yahoo Sports. Luke, I know elephant hunting is a big part of your guys' offensive strategy. How does it feel from your perspective to kind of be that on Boston's side of things? And what kind of responsibility do you think you can take to improve in that area moving forward? It's okay. Uh, every time they draw it, uh, you basically call a foul. So. I try to be you know, better, uh, so uh, gotta get better. Middle here. Well, you can leave one of five to the fan. Luca, just take us through, right here in the middle, just take us through your emotions when you fell out of the game and you see your team trying to fight back into it. We had a good chance when we were close. Say nothing, but you know, six fall in the NBA Finals. Uh, I basically like this. Uh, come on, man. Better than that. You, know, you guys came out uh, cooking in the, in the first quarter. I think 25 points in like seven minutes. What happened to make you know to, to bog down the offense? You know what, what happened uh, to make scoring more difficult there? I think we should just keep playing. Uh, the same energy, you know, keep the same people in. Uh, we were rolling down there, uh, then they came back. Uh, you know, at some point we were down 21-2 in the fourth quarter, uh, and we came back. So uh, we're going to still believe it to the end. Brad Towns in Dallas Morning News. We know you, you've only fouled out three times in the NBA. Have you ever had four fouls called on you in that short of a span? Sorry? Do you ever recall having four, fan, four fouls on you being called? In that short of a span? Not really. No, it didn't ever happen to me. I don't remember. And what did you guys do right to turn around the game and pull up that 22 rally? Uh, just playing with pace. Uh, they did uh, a good defense and they would play with pace. Uh, you know, just driving, kicking, and that's how we got back to the game. Tomer here on the left. Charlie was clutch points. Look, you mentioned staying positive. I guess again, scoring just seems to be a, a big issue for you guys. What outside of just staying positive can you guys do? Are you seeing the process that you want to actually, or are there more things you need to see out there? I think we got to figure out some things. Uh, you know, we played three times against them now, uh, so we get into them. Uh, but you know, I think being down 21 in the third game and then came back, you know, was a really positive thing for us. Dan, you're the left. Uh, Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports over here, Luca. Um, I think the number is 156 teams been down 3-0 in a series. Not one has come back yet. Having come so close tonight with that blessed sort of best punching through, how do you get into the right mindset to be able to get one on the board in game four? Yeah, I mean, like I 
I said, it's not over till it's over. So we just gotta believe. Uh, and like I always say, it's first of all, uh, we gotta stay together. Uh, we lose together, we win together, so we gotta stay together. Pedro on the left in the back. Luca, Kevin Sherrington, Dallas Morning News. Four years ago, Jerry West had a lot of really nice things to say about you, projected how great he thought you were going to be. I wonder what that meant to you when he said that and what were your thoughts about his passing? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see uh, what he said. Uh, I don't know, but, you know, he was a legend. Uh, we're all going to miss him. Uh, he's the logo, so uh, he was an amazing player. Uh, I wasn't born yet, uh, but I saw some highlights. He was an amazing player. Hola Luca, ¿sabes cómo estás y cómo afecta el hecho de que entre este partido y el cuarto o sea los dos partidos en los que hay menos tiempo de recuperar? Mañana ya estáis con el media de y pasado jugando otra vez. Uh, sí, bueno, uh, así es todos los periodos de antes, así que hay que prepararse, descansar mañana y a por el cuarto partido. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Last row, last, last question. Mojca, Radio Slovenija. Luka, kako se zdaj izbrati in pripraviti na naslednjo tekmo in pozadnost, to, kar se je zdaj zgodilo? Kako nekako držati vsako mora? Gremo naprej, mislim. Naslednja tekma je najbolj važna, tako da moramo imeti tekmo po tekmo. Moramo zmagati štiri, tako da treba se pripraviti. Tako se. You know, we watch the film, we talk to one another, we're trying to figure out what we need to do. You know, they're a great team, so you got to give them that. You know, they don't know how to score. They've been doing this for a long time. So, you know, he's got to be able to step up, learn, and just be able to with that. Third row in the middle, Tim. Tim Cato, The Athletic. Um, you know, coming into this game, the, the adjustment that, that, that you guys were trying to make, um, you know, did, do you feel like you guys did a good job executing them? Was it just that? You know, even when you were executing them, that once again Boston is just that good of a team. Like obviously, there's you know, there's even an 11 man rotation that, that Jason Kidd was using. Um, it really comes down to us, you know, just taking our foot off the gas. You know, there were times in the game that we allowed them to be comfortable, allow them to walk into threes, and that's that's what they're going to do. They're going to make the shots that they get, and we're going to give them. You know, we just can't we just can't take our foot off the gas. You know, there was times in you know I'd say the third quarter and the end of the second that we just allowed them to go on runs. We allowed them to get comfortable. And, you know, we just can't allow that to happen. We got to be able to be up in the grill the entire game and not let our foot off the gas. Second row on the right. Hi, Derek. Your team all season's kind of been resiliency. Obviously, the story is going to be you're down 0-3, make history. How do you guys go about just taking it one game at a time, taking care of business in that sense? Yeah, I think that's what we talked about this evening and after the game was, you know, just one possession at a time. We'll, we'll watch uh, film tomorrow and, um, and get ready for Friday. Tim Cato with The Athletic. Um, Jason, you played 11 players in, in, the, in the first half. Um, you know, what were you looking for with, with the rotations and, you know, an attempt to, to find somebody who could contribute early on? Yeah, we're, we're trying to find someone on, you know, to come off the bench and give us a spark. Um, it doesn't always have to be someone making a shot. Um, and I thought the guys that played tonight, um, you know, helped us um, get the lead or uh, get back into the game. Um, when you look at um, some of the guys who played, um, you know, we got good looks. Some, some of them made them, some of them didn't. But I thought the group that played there, uh, once that third quarter, you know, got away from us, uh, it just showed um, the group kept playing. And I thought D Live was was great uh, during the timeouts. Um, just he was, you know, still positive and telling guys that we could still get back into this. And it turns, you know, into a one possession game. Uh, but also, just with with the bodies that we were throwing out there, with just the fatigue. Uh, you know, trying to get fresh legs and trying to keep everybody fresh as, as we knew it was going to be, you know, come down to the fourth quarter. And unfortunately, uh, we lost Luca there when we fouled out. Tim McMahon, ESPN. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Babs lost. Damn 03. 156 to 0. Teams will never come back down 03. To win a series. Now, what does that mean? Now, what do you think gonna happen? I'm asking you, what do you think gonna happen?
I'm gonna get it. You see, old man, he's suited and booted for them finals. You know, I had to bring out the big gold. Too much, too much time now. They got guys that can knock down shots. They are knocking down shots. And we not. So, uh, I come back Friday. Say goodbye. <laughs> it's a wrap. Crap, man. So busy.